are back here in the Northeast Conference, NECfrontrow.com, and the Colonial Sports Network, and another goal from Mount St. Mary's. You're just tuning in. We're just tuning in as well. Robert Morris scoring first for in front. A couple defenders on a nice defense there by Robert Morris, forcing the ball out of the netting. And taken by number 14 for Robert Morris, Alex Hager. Shot taken, and that's scoring. A great play there by Hager. He set that entire thing up with that great defensive play there. He was able to get the assist on that goal there. And that'll be to Jack Toon. He'll get the tally. Robert Morris down by one now. Colonial scoring there as we take a look at the replay. Number 30 taking that one. Trey, Trey Arnold, who had scored for Robert Morris. Krieger, nice move there, taking the shot and save made. Another shot and they score. A good goal for Mount St. Mary's. I believe it was number two who scored for the Mountaineers. And so a goal for the Mountaineers not on the scoreboard yet, but it looked good for me. The referee putting his arms up. We take a look. The initial shot was saved, and then the rebound opportunity for number two, Joe Bethke, and he converts. Yeah, you don't see many rebound opportunities. He'll go to his right behind the net for number 24. Chris DiPretoro, he scores. Di Pretoro scoring for Mount St. Mary's as well. It's five to two Mountaineers. Yeah, they're gonna start to run away with this if they keep playing like they have. We, we did mention earlier that the Colonials were doing some great things defensively, but it's just not enough when you have that skilled of a shot. It's Matt Haggerty with it for Mount St. Mary's. Haggerty with a defender on him. He shakes him off momentarily, pushing, and a shot taken in a nice goal for Mount St. Mary's. A quick goal for number 24, the man we just mentioned, Chris Di Pretoro, and he scores to give it a 6-2 lead for the Mountaineers. Yeah, there may have been a, a stoppage of play because of the, the quarter, the quarter turning here, but the Colonials are still bleeding and they need to stop the bleeding here. Four and five overall, one and zero in the conference. They defeated Bryant earlier in the season. Shot taken, another goal. For Mount St. Mary's, Brendan Doyle scoring, and it's now seven to two, Mountaineers. If it's 8-2, it's a very tough score for the Colonials. And the Colonials moving back. forward, and they score. Yeah. It is number nine for Robert Morris, Matt Schmidt, who gets the goal, and a much-needed one for Robert Morris. Yeah, and in sports with goaltenders, they always say that a big save can always lead to a good offensive chance and momentum like that. And even though the Colonials only had two goals before this, that is a very big goal for the Colonials. It's also a very big stop because it could have been an 8-2 game there. Now it's a 7-3 game, so very, very good save there. Two to be exact coming into this quarter and that's the third one there. Shot taken and they score again. It's Luke Frankeny and another goal for Mount St. Mary's. That's a momentum killer right there. Even though you only scored one goal, it came after a big save and maybe you were thinking that Robert Morris could be able to salvage some momentum out of that and that's just a killer for it right there. You go back to the same differential you were. But he'll try and make one here. Robert Morris on the counter. A nice fake and a shot and a goal for Robert Morris. Corson Keeley, a beautiful fake to put it into the bottom corner. And it's now eight to four. Got to build off of it. So Corson Keeley getting his first goal of the afternoon. We mentioned him before our player to watch. Popovich with it. Popovich turning. Smith back to Popovich. Player falling down. Shot taken in a goal. Popovich. I think he went five hole on the goaltender to score in the Colonials. Slowly chipping away at that lead. Eight to five. Yeah, like I said, you got to build off of it, and they're doing that right now. It's a big goal there by the Colonials. Only down by three now. And they could manage to come back in this one at, before the end of the second quarter. So they'll swing it back around here for Robert Morris on offense this time. That shot taken and they score. Another goal. This one is Ryan Smith who scores. And the Colonials cutting away at this lead again. Three unanswered goals for Robert Morris. Yep, the more the more defensive zone opportunities that they can uh, defend and get to. 
ball still bouncing around at midfield. Big hit going down a Colonial. Slow to get up and scoring though is Robert Morris on the play. Also have a flag or a penalty on the play. It's Weird sequence of events there. A crazy sequence of events. A Colonial was down right at midfield, but Robert Morris kept pushing forward on offense. As we take a look at the goal. Yeah, they, they, they really need to tie things up here. It's, it's do or die time. Well, not necessarily do or die time, but there they go. And they score. It's Ryan Smith, only eight players out for Mount St. Mary's. And they are able to convert. Yep, too easy for the Colonials right there. Only four to four players back defensively and the, along with the goal, or in not including the goaltender. It's just gonna be a cakewalk every time for this offense. Side. Drew backs in behind the net for Smith. Smith, a defender on him. He sends it back to the point. Faking a shot, another shot taken and they score! It's number 13, Austin Popovich, and the Colonials have taken the lead. We have seen many goals here today, but that, in my opinion, was the most prettiest. Uh, Popovich with a fantastic spinning move there. And another, and they call a timeout because of it, Mount St. Mary's does, so. Fantastic goal there, as you see. Great moves, able to get the shot off, and the Colonials, for the first time, are up. Send it over on the far side. Corson Keeley, Keeley to Smith. Gets shot and a goal. Jake Boudreau from the point scores for Robert Morris. It's 10-8 Colonials. Yeah, the Colonials really on those, these last couple of drives, they've just been waiting for the right moment to shoot. They're not taking any chances, getting a turnover, not, not being able to get back on defense because if they do, it would be a 9-9 game. Instead, the right side not able to hold on to it though. And a goal, another goal for Robert Morris. It's number 23 for the Colonials, Corson Keeley, who scores to make it an 11-8 game. That's a, that's a very big goal for the Colonials. Two goal lead is great, but a three goal lead is even stronger. If they can continue to increase this cushion with two minutes and seven seconds left in this third quarter, they're gonna win this game if they can continue to do that. Corson Keeley, one of the best goal scorers that this team has to offer. He's getting it done for the Colonials right now. If they can continue this pace. Doyle with a man on him, shot taken in a much needed goal for Jared McMahon and Mount St. Mary's cutting the lead. Their first goal in two quarters. It's 11-9, Robert Morris. You still got the two goal lead, but the Colonials really need to watch out here. They haven't scored, like you said, in, since the second quarter of this game. Player coming back on for Robert Morris, but Mount St. Mary scoring to tie the game back up at 11 with five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. The Mountaineers, three unanswered goals after giving up eight unanswered to Robert Morris as we take a look at the replay. Yeah, same sort of thing happened in that game. It was back and forth, and it got close towards the end. Shot taken and scoring is Mount St. Mary's. Matt Haggerty gives the Mountaineers the lead. It's no secret. You don't have to be a genius to say that's uh, not what the Colonials wanted there. Uh, losing the draw, immediately a quick goal by the Mountaineers, and it's really, really going to show. The Mountaineer is up a goal late in this fourth quarter and looking to extend their lead to two goals. That shot into the back of the net, another goal for the Mountaineers. This time it's Brendan McCarthy who scores to give a 13 to 11 lead. It wouldn't, I would not be surprised if Rob Morris called a timeout here soon. Uh, it is late in the game. And you can hear there, the crowd cam, the frustration and shouting there from, I don't know who it is, but likely on the Robert, Robert Morris side. Top. Frankie running all the way around, getting his cardio in behind the net. Cutting in front, no goaltender, and he scores 
Frankini going all the way around and giving a 14 to 11 lead, and that should do it here at Joe Walton Stadium. Mount St. Mary is looking like they're going to come out with the victory. 14-11 with 27 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. An easy goal there, no. Mount St. Mary's wins 14 to 11, and they will improve to five and five.